Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. We just got a brand new patch for Ark with a big surprise. Well, actually a little surprise. You can now get a brand new Chibi Shadow Mane in Ark, and I'll tell you how to get yours in this video. We also got some new screenshots and information about the Canoe and Noglin from the Ark devs, and we're going to talk about all of this in this quick Genesis 2 news update video. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to this channel, Channel and ring that bell for all notifications and let's get started. So first of all, there was a patch that came out this morning for ARK on PC and hopefully by now on PlayStation and Xbox as well. Once that update is installed, you can get this brand new Shadow Main Chibi if you do a couple of things first. Now first of all, you need to own the Genesis Expansion Pass, which includes Genesis Part 1 and 2, and you also need that to get the Noglin Chibi, which has been out for a while. But to get the Chibi Shadow Main, you also need to find and unlock all of the Genesis Explorer notes, which will also get you the Federation tech suit you can see here. And it looks pretty darn cool when you dye it different colors too. Now, if you don't want to hunt all over for all of those boxes, you can use the admin command in the description of this video, which should let you spawn in the Chibi Shadow Main without doing any of that. I will also put a link to the video where I explained how to use admin commands if you're not familiar with those, and I'll drop the spawn codes for the Federation Tech Suit skins too. Now, to automatically unlock all of the Genesis Explorer notes and every other Explorer note in the game, you can use the admin command cheat space give all explorer notes, and that will unlock all of those, get your chibi shadow main and your federation tech suits, but it will also unlock a ton of achievements, loads of new skins in your inventory every time you respawn, and it might even give you a bunch of experience and max out your character level, so this may not be the best option for you. Now if we look closer at the details on the chibi shadow main, we can get a better feel for what the full creature will be like in Genesis Part 2. It's got features of lots of different types of creatures, like bird-like talons, fish-like fins, reptilian scales, and it most closely resembles a big cat, so it is a crazy creature. And if you're not already familiar with it, it will have different abilities for males and females. One has a stat-boosting buff, and another will be able to turn itself and other creatures invisible, and both will have a lightning-fast chain-strike teleport attack, so they will be quite formidable creatures. So now let's talk about this new screenshot of the canoe that was tweeted on Wildcard's account. The dev said, Convenience is key with a canoe that can be picked up and placed down in any body of water and is great for storing your consumables and freshly caught fish. Now, a canoe is not very high tech like most of the new items coming to Genesis Part 2, and it certainly might seem underwhelming compared to like the hover sail that we're getting, but this could actually be a pretty useful early to mid game item. Moving quickly on water makes a raft one of the safest ways to travel around around Ark on any maps without a whale infestation, and you can slip right past some of the nastier dinos that don't like going in the water, and being on a boat protects you from some of the nasty creatures you see below. Being able to pick up and carry it on land and drop it back in another body of water will make it super easy to get around. I also wonder if it will let you keep some items in the canoe to make it easier to carry stuff in the canoe itself. And of course, if you like fishing and you don't have a Pelagornis yet, it will be great for camping trips with your tribe mates. So I'm actually really looking forward to the canoe, especially if it's fast enough to outrun dangerous land dinos, because I love feeding tyrannosaurs to sharks. It's one of my favorite ways to get rid of them, is to just get them to chase me into the water and let the sharks take them out. You might also notice some cool flowers around them and strange plants in the water. They actually look a little bit like jellyfish, but they more closely resemble some of the plants that we saw in the trailer in the new garden biome that's coming to Genesis Part 2. We haven't seen much of this biome yet, so it's really cool to see a little bit more of how this is going to look. And by the way, I'm thinking about making a video on the new biomes that we know about so far, and uh, let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments, and if I get enough 
enough people that want that, I'll make that video soon. We also got this screenshot of the Noglin, which looks even more crazy and obnoxious here. They said, don't be fooled by Noglin's adorable looks. Behind that cute face is a mind-bending surprise, the ability to take control of enemy creatures, tames, or even other humans. Now, there's a lot of speculation on how it will actually control other creatures and humans, and will it act just like any of your other tames, or will you get more control of it when you use a Noglin? We saw in another news update the devs are working on a play as a dino mode, which will give you direct control of creatures in Genesis, but we don't really know how that's going to work, what type of mode that is, so I'm wondering if the Noglin will actually give you direct control of them, as if you're playing in play as a dino mode, or do you think we will just control them with whistles, or do you think it'll only be a short time you get to use them, or maybe you can increase the Noglin's stamina and it will be able to control them longer? Let me know in the comments what you all think and what your theories are, because this could be really cool. And also, I'd love to hear all of your ideas on fun creatures or fun things you could do with that Noglin's mind control. Like, get creative, we'll do some fun videos and do some really cool stuff with it once we tame ourselves in Noglin. So we're going to wrap up this quick Genesis 2 news update here, but keep an eye out for more Arc Genesis 2 news this weekend. We are probably due for more big surprises any day now, so make sure you are subscribed to this channel and you ring that bell for all notifications, or you might miss out on our next big Genesis 2 news update. And if you are excited about any of the stuff we've talked about here, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And until next time, I hope you all stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media so your friends can enjoy it too. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays for ARK and other awesome games coming soon and you won't want to miss any of that. We already have lots more fun and helpful videos just like this one, so check out the links at the end of this video to keep watching. You can also chat with other gamers if you join our channel's Discord the link in the description. If you want to earn great rewards while supporting this channel, click the join link next to the subscribe button for more information about our channel memberships. We want to give a big thank you to some of our biggest supporters of this channel. Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Emmy Fisher, Wolf Girl Be Like, Kelly Razjak, and Ashley Owens. Thank you all so much for everything you do to make this channel possible. So until next time, we hope you have fun on your own video game adventures, and we, we will see you, see you in our, our next video. video.